Right, so here we are at EOA 2019. We've got a lot of really cool stuff to look at. I'm going to try to get through it quickly, but it's going to be very difficult to do that because we're starting off here at the, at the FX stand where there are literally 20 new products for 2019. I'm going to go through everything, uh, film everything and do a voiceover just to talk about you know, the things that I like and, and uh, where I see it going. I'm going to start off though with the probably the gun that's um, most exciting to me and that's the uh, Dreamline Tactical Compact. This thing basically has a much shorter barrel so you're not going to compare it to like the Impact or Crown or extended Dreamline for like long range shooting stuff but just for walking around like a truck gun and and like using this for you know playing around and, and you know it's still going to be accurate but you're not going to get as much air uh, much shots before out of it it's a really really cool gun uh, folding arrow 15 stock um, just something that's very maneuverable bring it up quickly and i think out of everything this year this is probably what excites me the most but there's something else that i'm really keen to show you so i'm gonna go fetch quickly and i'll be right back So here's one of the big ones for me, is Impact Mark II. Um, what I want to show you about this gun, okay, disregard this back piece over here, which is just aftermarket parts, and the blue anodizing, which is not available at the moment, but everything else, as you see it here, is pretty much the Impact X, but with a few upgrades. One of the big upgrades is the fact that the plenum tube at the back here is going to have a larger air capacity. What this means is that you're going to be able to get more power out of your gun. The reason I'm excited about this is because it allows you, if you're shooting 25 or 30 caliber, to use a shorter barrel and still get the same uh, you know, velocity out your gun, whereas in the past it would have been very difficult to do that. You'd really have to put the rig pressure quite high. But now you've got that extra air capacity. You can push those pellets a little bit faster. On my side, where I'm starting to shoot slugs, um, I'll probably be able to uh, get this gun shooting much heavier slugs. Um, with that extra air capacity there, and, you know, playing with the hammer spring and stuff as well. So that's really exciting. Um, you don't see it on this gun right now, but there's a side shot magazine that's basically, you know, the side shot magazine. I, I've been using it for a while, but FX is, is actually making this now. It's out of a high quality plastic. It works just as well as the original side shot, and they're going to have that on these guns as standard, which is really exciting for me because. I've learned to love those uh, magazines so much, I, I can't actually do without them now. So it's cool that they're doing that. And the cool thing is that the magazines that they're making now, the side drop magazines that are gonna be in the Impact Mark II, are actually a lot deeper. So I can shoot up to probably about 32 grand slugs in the gun, um, which is something I wouldn't have been able to do before, would have had to single load. So that's really cool. Um, another thing you'll see here is the new gauges. Um, you know, let's all be honest, the gauges that were on the Previous models of the Impact, they were not the best. Um, they would often not be very accurate. These are much, much better. Um, they are way more accurate. And if you want to add a digital gauge, FX is now making digital gauges that are, I think, superior to anything else on the market. The battery life will last you about 10 years. And there's a 10 year warranty on those. So if you want to switch any of these out with a digital gauge, you can do that as well. But yep, that's the Impact Mark II. Really excited about it and you're going to definitely see this on our channel in the future. I'm not going to talk about everything I saw, I'm just going to show you the things that I really liked and one of the things that caught my eye was the Crown Compact. This has a 400mm ultralight barrel and I like this because when you get used to shooting with a bullpup, rifles start to feel way too awkward. This short one just changes all of that. There's also a new black and yellow stock available which they're calling the Yellow Jacket. We all know about the Dreamlines by now, but new for 2019 are the bottle versions of the Dreamline. As far as I know, the bottles will be available for all the versions. You just attach it via the bottle adapter that also houses the AMP regulator. There's an Impact Mark II Compact, which looks awesome. And lastly, there's the FX Pocket Chronograph, which is a mini Doppler radar for measuring muzzle velocity, muzzle energy, and all kinds of other things. I've actually been testing a beta version of this for about 6 months already and it is awesome. Finally, I should also add that the side shop magazines will be standard on the Crowns, Dreamlines and Impacts from now on. So here's the side shot magazine, as you can see it's basically the same shape and form as the original side shot, it, it functions exactly the same, um, but it's being made by FX now. So that is really really awesome and that's where we're going to end it guys. Um, 
I'm going to move on to other stands now. We're going to look at what else the show has to offer, but that's it for the FX stand. Let's move on. I've been a big fan of Huben since I saw them a couple years ago at Iwa. There's still a lot of mystery surrounding the company and they've had some issues with quality control, but they're starting to iron out the kinks and they seem to be improving all the time. Aside from rolling developments on machining tolerances, regulator, etc., news for 2019 is that there's a gauge available for the main cylinder which will tell you your fill pressure. That's obviously really helpful and I'll definitely be installing one on my K1. Moving on to Hall 6, we've got the Spartan stand. Right, so I'm standing at the Spartan Precision booth here at Iwa. Um, I did a video with the Javelin Bipod a few weeks ago and I'll link that video down below so you can check it out. I really like the products, but I mentioned that the Javelin is... Um, but my interest in Spartan was more to do with the fact that that they have a whole shooting system that really works well together. I realized through experience in hunting situations that you can't just rely on a, a single bar pod when you're hunting because you're often in situations where you, you can't lie prone. Either the grass is too long or you have a hill that you're trying to shoot over and you actually need to get some elevation. Um, Spartan have developed a system where you can interchange their javelin bar pod um, with something like this which is the Sentinel which I haven't actually looked at yet. Um, and it's a really it's a really good system that works together so this is really light carbon fiber you can chuck it in your backpack you can have your javelin on your hip and then you can use whatever you need to use out in the field um, so i want to talk about the the um uh, the, the sentinel system because i haven't actually got one at home at the moment um, the sentinel system as you can see it's a, a tripod that you can use for sitting or standing it's got a magnet at the top so your rifle will simply click into this. Uh, gives you really good support, allows you to move around with a bit of resistance so you can get a really firm shooting position. You can unscrew a leg if you want to make it a, 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 a bar pod instead of a tripod. And you can even add legs, like you've got over here where you've got a, a pent system with five legs, which is essentially a, a, it's essentially a, a shooting bench. You can get behind the gun like this uh, and it's completely, completely firm. The gun's not going to go anywhere and you can adjust for height. You can take, these guys are taking shots at like 800 to 1000 meters standing up, which is absolutely insane. Um, and I'll show you some clips here of some of the other stuff they're doing, but essentially this, this uh, Sentinel system, you can take the legs off, you can turn them into trekking poles for, for climbing up the mountain. There's a tent attachment like this, which is ridiculously light. It's like literally 500 grams, like half a kilogram and you fit the tent over the tripod and it's something you can sleep in high wind on top of mountains and you know, there's no, no extra weight of carrying 10 pegs up the mountain which makes a massive difference. So yeah, just wanted to show you what uh, Spartan Precision has uh, up their sleeve. This stuff is awesome. Um, I'm hoping to get hold of this soon um, and if I do, you're gonna see it in many of my videos to come because this is something that I believe everyone needs to see. It is fantastic stuff. Anyway, moving on to the next booth. So I'm here at the Eagle Vision stand. It's really cool to see how Eagle Vision has grown from being a very, very small company a few years ago when this whole scope cam thing started to where they are now, where they've got a stand at the, one of the biggest trade shows in the world with all their stuff here. Um, Masood, who owns Eagle Vision, has done a really good job, but I want to show you just a few things that um, have caught my eye. Um, scope cams have really evolved over the past few years. We started off with, you know, those funny little things that clamped onto your, your um, scope and had those things that slide backward and forward that you put your camera on and um, we moved on to these which kind of clamp down in your barrel and have the camera at the back and I've actually still got an Eagle Vision camera that I, I use with my Sony RX100 that, that clamps on at the back here but the latest thing we've seen with scope cam technology is the whole uh, prism system with a one-way glass mirror that reflects the light up into the camera and allows you to look uh, straight through the scope like this. I've been using that for a while now because it really helps me to to film and still get a comfortable uh, shooting position at the same time and uh, Eagle Vision has jumped on that bandwagon which is awesome. So what we've got here is that uh, prism system with the one-way glass mirror um, and we've got the Sony RX100 up here. They've also got adapters for iPhones and for uh, GoPros which are coming soon which is awesome and basically you get the kit where you, you choose what, what part you want for whichever scope you need here you choose uh, this uh, prism system and you choose which adapters you need for which camera so you can go on Eagle Vision's website you can check 
and which camera you have, which adapters you need, or whether when you shoot with a, a phone or with a, a GoPro, and you, you put that in your cart and you, you get it like that. So that's the one thing. This is really, really cool. Nice to see Eagle Vision um, doing this as well. The second thing I wanted to show you is, let's see if we can get it in focus here. This is a Wildcat magazine and it's numbered. So my biggest problem in the past was that I would be shooting with my Wildcat and I'd have to make a scratch on the magazine so you can see when, you, when your magazine's empty so you don't drive fire. Um, with this numbered magazine, uh, you can you know, index it to where it starts and you can tell when, when you're out of shots. There's also a, a little uh, piece here that you can attach to your, your rail and basically slot your spare magazines into. So magazine holders for the Wildcat. Everything that Masood makes is really high quality and it's nice to see all these little parts for all the guns that we know and love uh, be available all over the world. Um, you know, our industry is moving forward very quickly and thanks to guys like Masood, we're able to play around and experiment, experiment with stuff and put bits together and fill my hands, which is awesome. Many of the European airgun manufacturers are in Hall 7A and the Steyr stand caught my eye. Steyr are now making a semi-auto bullpup and while the specs regarding power, loudness, caliber options didn't really interest me much, it's nice to see that there's work being done on semi-autos, especially from a company like Steyr, which has a reputation for quality and accuracy. If they do it, you know it's going to be done well. I'll be following this closely, and I'm sure by next year's show there will be more information about this gun on forums and reviews. And of course, I passed by Air Arms, a company that's very close to my heart, and while there wasn't anything new per se, I was happy to see that all the weaknesses that I'd picked up on my Air Arms S510 review a few years ago had all been addressed, with a regulator and a click adjustable power wheel now available as standard. I also like the form factor of the XS, it's a really good link for a rifle. And lastly, Scandinavian air guns. So I'm at the Scandinavian air guns booth, which is actually a new booth this year at Iwa. And there's a few things that caught my eye, which I'll speak about in a moment. But to introduce Scandinavian air guns, you may have seen me wearing a Scandinavian air gun shirt over the past few years. Um, and then at the back of the shirt, you've had pictures of like the impact or the crown or something. A lot of people assume that Scandinavian air guns and FX are the same company, but they're not. Scandinavian air guns, um, are based in Sweden, uh, run by a friend of Frederick, who's the owner of FX, but they make all kinds of uh, accessories and, and um, uh, products that you can use on, on many different brands of air guns. Um, but something that really caught my eye this year was a chassis. Um, I'm a big fan of, like, uh, uh, I hate the word tactical, but tactical stuff for, for guns. I love it when people outside of, of the brands that are making the guns start to do uh, aftermarket parts because it just gives you more options and the Dreamline's only been out for what a few months now and already we're seeing some really cool chassis and stuff for the Dreamline. You've seen a video of mine with the Aeron chassis this one's a little bit different and but I, what I really like about this one is firstly you've got a, a bag right over here that you can move up or down and when when shooting long range or off a bench that bag right is really really important so we've got that over here um, and then we've got basically this this part that uh, comes over your your barrel and cylinder here um, and i like this for a number of reasons number one it protects your barrel from being bumped when you've got a free free floating barrel like this it's it's prone to being bumped off alignment this kind of just protects it from that if you if you lay it down on its side but it also gives you options to mount bar pods on the top or on the side which helps a lot with your your recoil impulse coming straight back if you've got a bar pod at the bottom the gun tends to do this a little bit when it vibrates. When you've got your bipod at the top, your recoil comes straight back. So that's a really cool option. And the chassis allows you to also move your bipod forward or backward to wherever you want it on the gun. So yeah, that's uh, the chassis from Scandinavian Air Guns. Really, really cool. And keep an eye on them in the future because they're gonna have some, some, some cool stuff to show you. They really think out the box and they, they have some quality stuff as well. So keep an eye out, uh, Scandinavian Air Guns will has some stuff out for you to see in the future. And that's all for 2019. Hopefully I'll be doing reviews of some of these products in the near future. But until then, stay safe and I'll see you next time.